Hello Sagittarius, this is your reading for June. This reading is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. I feel like some of you have probably gone through some sort of um, a rebirth process. At one point you felt very down and very kind of depleted. But uh, I'm getting like this, um, this Phoenix Rising image here. Let's see. What's going on with Sagittarius? Please show me messages for Sagittarius. Messages for Sagittarius. We have a Five of Swords energy. This is com conflicting energy here. Um, conflicted in your thoughts. Conflicted in uh, your relationships and how you get along. Um, there is definitely something uh, going on with you where there's this, this overwhelming need to fight for what you believe in, like regardless of that other person. Like you're going to do what's best for you. If it hurts that other person in the process, so be it. Um, yeah, that's Aquarius energy there. What is crossing Sagittarius? Then we have that five of wands. See? Now we have two five. So what's challenging you is, um, and I feel like this is to let things go that are not serving you. If you've been fighting for something and somebody else is bucking against it, and they consistently buck against it and you've consistently been fighting for it, it's time to end that conflict. It's time to end that conflict. Okay? And that is the image that I'm seeing right now. It's time to change up some shit. Okay? Some Leo energy here. Fight for your place. Fight to be heard. And then once you've done that and nothing has changed, it's time to, for you to make a change, right? What's the underlying issue here with Sagittarius? The Knight of Wands. This is that energy of being in and out, whether it's physically or mentally or whatever. Somebody's not all in. And that, that is what the issue is here. Somebody has one foot out the door. Somebody uh, takes a vacation when they should be here and present and working on something. Whether that's you or the other person. What was going on in the recent past for Sagittarius? Nine of Swords being all in your head. Um, feeling very worried and concerned. With the Nine of Swords, things are way more heightened. Things are um, not clear. Okay? And it gives you an illusion that sometimes the things that you're worrying about are so horrible or things are a certain way when they're really not. So I feel like your thoughts have been kind of muddled. And you're fighting to clear through some of that fogginess, I feel. You're working on yourself. You're working through the conflict. You're working to see somebody else clearly too, I feel. Gemini energy, which is your opposite sign. <clears throat> Crowning thoughts for Sagittarius. Crowning thoughts for Sagittarius. Two of Cups, you're in love with somebody. Regardless of how this person has acted, regardless how they have treated you, you are in love with somebody. You feel like this is your person. This is Cancer energy here. Could be a Cancer Leo individual. That is significant. But um, I feel like you're fighting to see some good in a situation. What's coming in for Sagittarius? What's coming in for Sagittarius? Ten of Pentacles. 
For some of you, you're ending your committed relationship. You're ending a marriage. Um, I feel like you've been fighting for this marriage or this relationship for a while. Uh, but there's a lot of conflict. There's a lot of conflict, a lot of inner conflict and a lot of conflict with the individual. Okay, for some of you. For some of you, you are still very committed. There's not a lot of interaction between you and this person, like um, uh, favorable interaction, good interaction. You're just there. You're still committed to each other, but not all in is the thing. That's Virgo energy. <clears throat> How is Sagittarius viewing their situation? How is Sagittarius viewing their situation? King of Wands. You feel like you are in control of this. You're the mature one. You are the one that holds shit together. Somebody else is immature. And I feel like you guys are angry. You're angry. And I think you try to stop this person from getting in their own way. You try to stop them from sabotaging, sabotaging the relationship. What is the influence here for Sagittarius? What is the influence for Sagittarius? Ten of Wands. <clears throat> You're tired. You're tired. You're ready for, for them to take on some responsibility and help you to carry the weight of this relationship. Help you work on this relationship. You're tired. You want stability. You want them to show up. Be present. Because I feel like the weight of the world on your shoulders. I feel you guys about to give up and do some different shit honestly it may take a while but I definitely see some of you ending a relationship some of these some of you again are staying in it and really trying to work on things but you need to see some sort of effort coming from this other person for you to stay in it because I feel like the shit is about to hit the fan. <clears throat> and I think that's why I saw like this Phoenix rise. And it's like you've been like this rock. You've been this person um, that just basically was a stepping, not a stepping stone. Because I don't feel like this person was using you to get somewhere else. I just feel like. You know, you guys were the backbone or are, are the backbone of this relationship and this person relies on you and, and that's okay, but you want to know that you can rely on them as well. And I feel like, you know, you've served that role of being the protector and being the, the one that fought for this relationship so long that I feel you get weary and tired. And the shit is about to hit the fan. Hopes or fears for Sagittarius. Hopes or fears. Ace of Cups. You don't want this to be one-sided. Again, you love this person. You're in love with this person. You feel like this is your person. But your fear is that it's one-sided. That you're the only one that's in love. That they're not. Hmm. What is the outcome here for Sagittarius? Page of Wands here. Now, you see you showed up as a king down here. In control and feeling like you're the mature one. I think that emotionally... A lot of you guys allow this person to take the lead. Like, um, I'm trying to explain exactly what I'm getting here. It's like 
you're strong in every other aspect. You make shit happen. But when it comes to this person, it's like any little affection that they give you, you suck it up. You eat it up. That's where you are as a page of wands. Page of wands is it's not a king. A page of wands um, in this reading basically takes what they are given. And I think you're tired of that. You're tired of that. It's like, do you love me? Do you want me? Okay, so you guys do what you need to do, um, and I, I hope things work out for you, but um, yeah, I, I feel like this person is, is feeding you with a long handled spoon, and I don't doubt that they love you, but I think that there's some level of feeling in control when you feel like somebody loves you more than you love them so that is my um that is my take on this honestly i feel like this person does love you i just feel like you know they feel like they have more control in the relationship because they feel like you guys really love them okay so that is what i have for you and i'll be speaking with you soon